Hey folks, welcome back to my channel and here is my latest and fastest ever built project, the Academy 72nd scale MiG-21 F-13 of the Finnish Air Force. Let's get started. Inside the box, we have the sprue bag, the rather simplistic single page instruction sheet, and the decal sheet. Inside the sprue bag, we have three sprues. The first one has the two fuselage halves, the nose cone, the cockpit tub, and the air-to-air -air missiles. We have the clear part, one-piece canopy on the second one. And the third sprue has the drop tanks, the wings, and the horizontal stabilizers. The first step was to paint the cockpit tub and seat. There were no details in it, and I decided not to add any either. The cockpit floor and the side walls were painted Soviet emerald green. And the seat was simply painted black. I then assembled the cockpit tub inside the fuselage and began testing the dry fitting of the parts. The test fit was pretty neat and indicated no requirement of any sort of fit. So I went ahead with a quick assembly of all the parts like the wings and the horizontal stabilizers. And then began wet sanding of the small amount of filler required to make the nose wheel covers fit properly. Once that was done, I went ahead to scribe some panel details on the wing using a sharp plastic scribing knife. The details on the kit were almost non-existent. Finally, it was time to prime and pre-shade the model. And I pre-shaded the bottom and the top using Fevicryl Black. Once the pre-shading was over, it was time to paint the silver. I used a rattle can from a company called 4S and the silver came out pretty nice. The last time I had sprayed silver, the pre-shading got almost obliterated under the coat of silver. So this time around, I sprayed in a to and fro motion from a distance of 6 to 8 inches away while meticulously and continuously monitoring how much pre-shading showed through.
It was then time for some panel masking. The masking itself was a full day's work. I then began spraying the yellow ochre paint on the panels on the right wing. Once the ochre paint had dried, I began adding the salt chipping by adding a little bit of water with a brush and then sprinkling salt over the watered areas. I replicated the same on the undersides of the wings. I then began painting the final grey shade of the panels over the salt areas. At this point, I realized the color was a little too blue, so I added more gray to it to tone it down a little. Finally, it was time to remove all the masking and clean off the salt. The salt was cleaned with quick to and fro strokes of a wide flat bristled brush. I then masked off again and painted the exhaust with fevicryl grey. and the lateral stability fin with fevicryl leaf green.
Finally, all the remaining masking was removed. I then used the final masking of the rust shade on the wing center panel. Well, more like I called it the lipstick effect on the MiG-21. I achieved the effect with Fevicryl Maroon and then chipped the rust paint with some grey. Finally, after removing the masking, it was time for the decals. As usual, I applied watered-down PVA glue to the place where the decals would go and then dipped the decal in warm water for 30 to 45 seconds and then gently with a soft brush slid the decals onto the position and then cleaned off the excess water with a cotton Q-tip. The decals on the kit were quite good for the age of the model and they conformed nicely to the surfaces. Finally, I assembled the canopy and it was time to build the diorama. I used a small disposed photo frame as the base for the diorama. As you can see, it has a very nice wooden edge all around with a plexiglass in the center. I joined two pieces of spruce together which I would bend with the help of some candle flame and I would mount the MiG-21 on this. I used sunboard to cover up the plexiglass in order to depict the road and the grassy area. And here you can see the edges of the frame have been masked, the sunboard has been primed and I have drilled three holes in the frames, one to mount the MiG and the other two for the trees on the sides. I then painted the road grey and the grassy patch with leaf green. I 
I used masking tape to show the road guidelines. Once all this was done, it was time to remove the masking and place the trees in their respective sections. That completed the diorama for me and I mounted the MiG-21 on the sprue. And here is the completed model of the Finnish Air Force MiG-21 F-13 of Fighter Squadron 31. The model depicted here is serial number MG-47. However, a bit of artistic license has been used to depict it as MG-61, which is mounted as a gate guard outside Kuopio Airport today. So that's it ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed building the model and the diorama. If you liked my video, click the thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you for watching, see you soon.